thinking patterns. Here is an example. Here, the numbers are decreasing with every term. Exactly opposite to growing patterns, where the numbers increase by each successive term. Now, let's find out what the next terms for this pattern is. Here, we are subtracting 10 with every term. 90 minus 10, we get 80. 80 minus 10, we get 70. 70 minus 10, we get 60. And so on. So next eighth term would be subtracting 10 from the seventh term. 30 minus 10, that is 20. So eighth term would be 20. Let's have a look at more shrinking patterns. Here we have a shrinking pattern. Here, what should be the next term? See here, we are subtracting seven with every successive term. So the next term would be seven minus seven, that is, the next term would be zero. Here we have another shrinking pattern. Each term decreases with the growing term number. So these are shrinking patterns. Let's have a look at some other type of patterns. They are repeating patterns. Here, the number two, four, six, and getting repeated. So it's a repeating pattern as the number two, four, six are repeating. What should come in the blank space here? In any repeating pattern, we first find the whore pattern. That is the term that's getting repeated. And then we can repeat it any times to grow the pattern. Here, the core pattern is two, four, six. So according to core pattern six would come after four. Now let's have a look at more repeating patterns. These are some examples of repeating patterns. So kids, today we learned about patterns, terms, term numbers, and three types of patterns, growing patterns, shrinking patterns, repeating patterns. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!